Let us assume we have a database and the pundits who say that cannot work and the others have worked with thousand engineers on it and failed. Uh, how can he with his five guys, there are probably 300 plus currently permanently working on it, um, with an average experience of close to 18 years in databases. How can this work? Let us assume it works. Let us just for a minute assume it really works and we have built a relational database which can work in memory, completely in memory, can run transactional load and OLAP load, has inside a OLAP engine, can do all the calculations, all the statistics, everything which we know from our business warehouses, the business intelligence analytics systems. What can we do with us, such a system? SAP is now 38 years old, and we ever, we always, in all these years, have applied the new technology to our latest version, which then became our next version, going forward. If I had a pointer, I don't know whether there is a pointer. I don't see a pointer, but it doesn't matter. The current release, this is this little bar here on the right-hand side. This is the latest release SAP has in the market of uh, ECC 7.7.0. Basically, the traditional approach will be to make an ECC 8.0, and this has then the option to take the in-memory database or an corresponding business warehouse for the analytics system. So this is what we have done. I gave my students in February in Potsdam, IT students, computer scientists, the job to go out to real companies, mostly SAP customers, but one was a non-SAP customer, and ask them what they could do with this wonderful in-memory database which has this unbelievable speed and all the other attributes. And they went out, and uh, the teams came back with all kinds of ideas. They had good ideas. They got good marks. And one team came with a blank sheet of paper. And the team leader said, we threw everything away. All our ideas failed. Because we found out the following. The companies we saw are very much interested in in-memory technology, but they currently have no money. They currently have no people because they work on a minimum level. They currently have no time. And even if they had these three assets, they don't want to risk what they currently have. They don't want to change the system, which they fought so dearly to get it up and running over the years. The answer was, we love your in-memory database. Let somebody else try it. And when it's really proven, come back to us. That was very disappointing, the guy said. So we threw everything away. And true to design thinking, go back to the drawing board. And they drew only one little picture. Instead of moving forward like we traditionally do in high tech, we have to move back, backwards. We have to apply the new technology to our existing customer base. This is the first time in my life that I announce something or I talk about a potential announcement. I'm not allowed to announce anything. This is in Frankfurt, the people are watching me that I don't step over the line. <laughs> that we do something for the customers. We sold 12 or 13 years ago a system. I think that's around the time we built 46C and delivered it. 47, ECC 60, obviously the current system as well. We go backwards to these systems with our latest technology. And now I will tell you how. Next slide, please. 
this is your system. SAP ERP with all the functions we have developed that was a little bit slimmer in the, in the old days. Uh, I remember 4.7 has 50,000 theoretical transactions. The list of transactions is 50,000 entries long. ECC 6.0, 100,000 transactions. I'm not 100% sure why we have to have these transactions. And I, I hear a lot of criticism from bloggers and others about the size of these old-fashioned ERP systems. Wait a minute. 50,000 customers, if each customer only contributes one table, one little table with a few attributes to the system, we have a plus, a surplus of 50,000. This is where it comes from, from success. When you start up and you have 10 customers, your system is extremely slim. When you serve the major industries of the world, from the largest ones through the mid-sized ones down to the smaller ones, then you have 50,000 tables plus. So these systems are significant. They run currently on databases of, from Oracle, IBM, Microsoft, and SAP. Next slide. And over the years, we have given the system a second phase. This is the business warehouse, business information system. The name is changing so fast that I cannot keep up with that, so I stick to what I remember. It was once called BW, then BI, and now it's BW again. If you are clear about this, it's fine with me. <laughs> A separate system, and I told you last year I never liked it. Intellectually, I never liked it because it took all the luster away from our system that we are a real-time system, that we can do everything real-time, which was our mantra 1972 when we started the company. This is how it looks today. Many of you have a system like the ERP system and system for the analytics, which gets an afterburner, the BIA or no BWA, uh, to make the slow system significantly faster. This is an in-memory database running for three years productively. And then we have the various viewers, SAP viewers, our business object viewers, and the Microsoft viewers, and others. So they dot, 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 are many, many others. These are the systems. And now I want to propose a way that we change these systems, as we shall said, fundamentally risk-free. So next slide, please. First of all, I take the appliance he talked about. This is a machine with one of these modern boards, something between half a terabyte to two terabyte main memory, um, 48 to 128, that is next year, 128 cores. The current maximum is 64 cores. Its technology is Nihalem technology from Intel. We put underneath solid disk, um, solid state disk storage. Just because uh, we don't work on disk anymore, we need this disk only for backup, has no other job to do. And we connect it to the traditional database with, with first an initial load. The multiple lines should indicate that we do this massively parallel. We have now done one of our largest customers in 48 hours, single threading. We believe if we do this massively parallel, it could have been in four hours. Average customer, I, will, I guess, will be around two hours. And then we have a complete image of the database, an exact logical image. 